that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> morning. Good morning, loves. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I figured I would come on and do this hair scope because why not? Um, <coughs> let me, I can't, you can't see me go this. I hey guys, it's your girl Jana from Ashley Glam. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I'm going to wash my makeup brushes, which is like totally way overdue. Um, but I wanted to get on just to do something, finding something different to show you guys how I clean my makeup brushes. And I'm using, um, the Juju B Jache Essentials Makeup Brush Cleanser. So I wanted to give her a shout out and come on and do Periscope using her product. I know she does a lot of periscopes herself, so I thought it would be really cool to just show her some love and to do this scope here. So I'm going to flip it around and we're going to wash some makeup brushes. Okay, so first of all, let's just be real clear that I'm horrible about washing my makeup brushes. And that's why I have so many of them that are extremely dirty. Um... I actually will go and I will go and buy a makeup brush before I wash my makeup brush again. I have like four of these. This is my um, makeup brush that I use for everything. It says it's a powder brush, but um, I use it for liquid foundation as well. Um, yeah, look how dirty that is. <laughs> that happened because I used the wrong foundation shade and I just put it on there and realized it was the wrong one. So I'm like, yeah, at this point I need to go ahead and wash my brushes. But this is my absolute favorite brush. Um, I think it's like $3 and you can get it from anywhere. But these, this is my favorite, favorite foundation brush. Um, I just got this beauty blender actually from TJ Maxx, um, this large beauty blender and it was only like three or four bucks. And then these are just my, you know, regular brushes. I actually use this brush. It's supposed to be for like eyeshadow, but I actually use this <clears throat> for under eye concealer because it's so large, but it fits right under your eye. I'll show you it. Okay, so like he it like fits right under there. So even though it's a found uh uh supposed to be for shadow, that's what I use it for. That's the beauty of makeup brushes. You can kind of use them for whatever actually works. So yeah, these are just super dirty regular eyeshadow brushes. Um, this is a, supposed to be a foundation brush too. This is for blush. Um. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys kind of close up how kind of janky they are, how dirty they are before we kind of get into this thing. So, <clears throat> so the cool thing about um, her makeup brush clean, cleanser is that it's also antibacterial. So it's going to kill those germs and kill the bacteria as well, which of course is why you should wash your makeup brushes often and i know i'm super guilty but yeah i know so i'm just gonna let the water get warm <clears throat> um so yeah that's why you should wash your makeup brushes frequently is because they can harbor lots of bacteria all the bacteria in your face and it can cause breakouts on your skin when you use makeup brushes that are not clean. So you may be thinking there's other things that are causing you to have breakouts, but it very well may be your makeup brush. So you should clean them regularly. So this is a liquid um, cleanser. Some people, whoops, what am I doing? Some people use um, like baby hair shampoo. For their makeup brushes which is something you definitely could do this is just a very thin light makeup brush clean so you can see it's not heavy or anything very light let me see the scent is very 
Um, it smells almost like a dishwashing detergent. And she also has um, oils in here too. Now, the package that she gave me, she, she, she gave this to me to try. It doesn't have the other label on it, which I already knew the deal. I already knew that, but if you want to get all the specifics, here's her website. You can go right to her website and snatch up all the details about um, this. But I know that it contains an oil that she hand makes. <clears throat> <clears throat> with all I don't know what she does it's some sort of process where she kind of um oh my gosh what's the word no, I can't think of the word <sighs> it's, I want to say brew but I know that's not the right word but she takes like the the herbs and all of that and then she kind of like it lets it ferment that's the word and then it's like all antibacterial and fancy and I, I don't know all the details but Definitely, you can go to her. Um, she does Periscope frequently and talks about her products. So, you can follow her on Periscope. I tagged her in the title of this scope. So, you guys would be able to follow her here on Periscope. She also has a YouTube channel. And she's actually a salon owner here in the Hampton Roads area. So, you can, if you're in Hampton Roads, you can check her out. You can buy her products right there in her salon or you can get them online trying to wait for this water to warm up but my water's being shady that's apartment living for you so let's just get started who cares i'm going to just go ahead and get started Anybody got time for the water dryer. so what i do is i lightly wet my brush yeah she's amazing right i don't want to get too much water because i don't want the water to get in this way because it can get down into the wood of your brush and, you know, make it not last longer. It can make this piece loosen up, et cetera, et cetera. So I try to not, you know, very careful about how I wet the brush. Make sure it's facing down. And there is tons of people do all types of different things to wash their makeup brushes. So I'm just showing you what I do. Then I come in with the... Just put it just a tiny bit to start. If I have to use more, I do. And then I just do like a circular motion. And you can see that makeup starting to come out. So this is, well, there you go. So this is gentle, you know. You're not trying to, you don't want to go in too hard on your makeup brushes because you don't wants to compromise them. You want them to still stay soft. You want them to still, you know, you don't want them to be dry and hard. You want them to stay soft. <clears throat> Child, this is live. Hello. Now you really see it starting to come out. Ooh, look at all that makeup. So what I like about this um, cleanser is there's not a whole lot of lather. So you don't have to worry about that. And that make me makes for an easier rinse rinse out. But as you can see, that makeup is coming right on out. And like I said, that's what I do. I just swirl it around on my hand, trying to make sure I'm getting in in the inside of the brush. And not just the outside. Rinse a little. The goal is to for the water to run clear. So you want to keep this process up until the water runs clear, and then you know that you've gotten all of the um the the dirt and makeup built up out of the brush. Alright, so let's do one more. Okay. getting a little lather there then it's probably the bulk of the makeup is probably washing out now that's a good sign you can also buy a, a mix 
that you can put on your hand it has little bristles to do the same thing that i'm doing on my hand and that also helps with um, your you know cleaning your makeup brushes i'm thinking about getting that but that's sort of where i got the idea from and you can just put it on your hand it's like a little mitt and it has little raised heads on it and that helps you to just <clears throat> provide a little bit of traction so that you can you know clean the brush all right so this one is looking like it is doing it goes on go in okay now the water going so then go in rinse it out and see now the water is running clear <clears throat> no makeup's coming out so that's how we know we got a clean makeup brush and the brush feels super soft Right, so I just want to rinse and just make sure you got now you don't just make sure you got the makeup out you also want to make sure you have rinsed out all of the cleaning agent you don't want any of that left on your brush when it dries all right so there we go so what I do is I uh, just squeeze just to get the excess water out And look, look at if you. I don't know if you guys can see as good as I can see. But do you guys see like how shiny the sheen on that brush? That's probably from the oils, you know, a little bit of oil that she has in her product. Just enough oil to soften and keep the bristles soft. Um, plus the fact that it's a clean brush and it's not dirty. So there you go. And what I do is I have a towel, just a regular old towel that I just lay out on my <laughs> toilet seat. And I place the um I just place the uh brush there to dry. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna hop off now. But that's how I do it. I will not bore you with the whole process. But that's how I do it. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You know, if you're looking for something to clean your makeup brushes, a nice quality cleanser, definitely check out. Um, let me turn this off. Definitely check out. Yeah, she has an entire product line. It's not just the makeup brush cleaner. She has hair products, fake skin products, scalp oil. She has a ton of products. So definitely go check her out. And if you guys are watching the replay, thanks so much for tuning in. And we'll see you guys in the next go. Bye.